Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration, gathering in thanksgiving to God, today especially for the gift of our new Archbishop-elect, Cardinal Jose Advincula. We thank the Lord for this grace that He has given to the Church here in the Archdiocese of Manila. And today also we come to the Lord expressing our needs, our petitions, even our fears, so that God, our Father, would become our source of strength. And so to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray.
O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the passion of Christ, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son and come at last to the fullness of His grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surge round about me. The destroying flood overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Please stand. Salita mo, Cristo mahal, Espiritu ngumubuhay, Nagtuturot, umakay, Sa nagnanay sa kamtan, Ang langit mo walang hanggang, The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated 
and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We are now coming nearer to Holy Week, a time when we commemorate the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord. And as we come closer to the suffering of Jesus and His victory on the cross, slowly also we are seeing the burden of Jesus becoming heavier. His experience of suffering are now coming nearer. And for example, in our gospel reading today, we hear about the suffering of Jesus of having been surrounded by people who are against him. In fact, people who are about to stone him with rocks. This is also the experience that is mentioned in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Jeremiah of being the experience of being surrounded by your enemies, surrounded by suffering, surrounded by trials. In our first reading, we hear about the experience of uh, the book of, of Jeremiah. He said, terror on every side. I hear the whisperings of many denounce him. And all of my friends, people who were my friends, are now watching every misstep of mine. Ang karanasan ni Propeta Jeremiah sa unang pagbasa ay yung karanasan na napapalibutan ka ng kaaway mo. Napapalibutan ka ng pagdurusa. And this is also the experience of Jesus in our gospel passage today when the people at that time, the Jews at that time, were surrounding him and telling him that you are not true, you are a fake. Do you imagine? Can you imagine the experience of that, of being surrounded by trials of suffering? But what was the strength of Jesus? in the midst of that. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, even if Jesus is coming closer to His suffering, is coming closer to, to His passion and death, we do not see Jesus trembling in fear. In fact, He remained strong. He remained courageous in the midst of all these sufferings. Akala natin dahil 
papalapit na si Jesus. Yung kwento sa Ebanghelyo, papalapit na siya sa kanyang pagdurusa sa krus, dapat kinakabahan na siya. Dapat ay natataranta na siya sa mga mangyayaring pagdurusa na alam niya. Pero hindi. Kahit napapalibutan pa man siya ng pagdurusa, nananatiling matatag si Jesus. At ano ang kanyang dahilan ng pagiging matatag ng kanyang kalooban? In our gospel passage today, we see Jesus telling the people of His identity that He said, The Father is in me and I am in the Father. That is the strength of Jesus. Knowing in Himself that He is the Son of the Father. And as the Son, the Father will never abandon Him. This is also the strength of Jeremiah in our first reading. He said, The Lord is with me. Like a mighty champion, my persecutors will tremble, will stumble, they will not triumph. And I will witness the Lord taking vengeance on them. For to you, my Lord, I have entrusted my cause. Kapag napapalibutan ka pala ng pangamba, ng takot, Kapag sa tingin mo ay napapalibutan ka ng sakit, napapalibutan ka ng pagdurusa, takot sa iyong sarili, tulara natin ang mga pagbasa ngayong araw, si Jeremias at si Jesus sa ating Ebanghelyo. Naging matatag sila sapagkat malinaw sa kanila na ang Diyos ay nariyan. Ako ay anak ng Diyos. At bilang anak, hindi tayo pababayaan ng Ama. It is clear to the mind of Jesus that the Father is in Him and He is also in the Father. That is the relationship of the Father and the Son. And as a Son, as the Son of the Father, He is confident that this Father will never abandon Him. Marami po sa atin ngayon ang pakiramdam natin ay napapalibutan tayo. No? Iba yung pakiramdam, no? lalo na ngayon. Kahapon ay umabot ng almost 9,000 na naman ang kaso, no? 8,700 new cases. At kapag nakikita natin ang mga numero na yan, pakiramdam natin parang napapalibutan tayo yung takot na napapalibutan tayo ng sakit, napapalibutan tayo ng virus at kapag sinasabi sa atin na magtago sa mga bahay, nandoon yung takot na parang napapalibutan tayo puro ng pagdurusa at kalungkutan. Parang ganito ang karanasan nila Jesus. Mga kapatid, kapag ito ang nararamdaman mo ngayon, Tandaan natin, tayo ay anak ng Ama. At bilang mga anak, ay hinding-hindi tayo pababayaan ng ating Ama. Today is uh, Friday before Palm Sunday. And traditionally, this is Viernes Dolores, Friday of Our Lady of Sorrows. And if we will look at Our Lady of Sorrows, her heart is pierced by a sword. In fact, in other uh, depictions, there are even seven swords symbolizing the seven sorrows of Mary. Pag nakikita ko yung pito na nakatusok sa puso ng mahal na ina, yan din ang karanasan ni Maria napapalibutan siya ng pagsubok, hindi lang minsan isa, pito, at mas marami pa nga na pagdurusa niya 
kapag nakikita niyang ang kanyang anak ay nagdurusa. Pero si Maria tumayo sa paanan ng krus. Mary, in the midst of all her sorrows, was able to stand beside the cross because she knows that Jesus is the Son of the Father and the Father will never abandon His Son. My dear brothers and sisters, we entrust our sufferings, our trials to the Lord. And like Jesus, as we become one with Jesus in this Eucharist, we know, like Him, that as children of the Father, our God will never abandon us. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray that God may continue to guide us through His prophets so that we may spread the message of Jesus Christ. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leaders, may fulfill her mission proclaiming the gospel without compromise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That the message of Jesus, like le leaven, may influence every level of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That Christians may seek self-discipline, especially during this penitential season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That the trials of life may not discourage us, but enable us to grow in our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That those who imagine that they do not need the sacrament of reconciliation may be moved to humble repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and let us also lift up to the Lord all those who are sick right now, those who are in need of healing, of recovery from COVID-19, and we include also those who have passed away this time. All of these we silently commend to the Lord. Father, grant that we may be strengthened to do your will and to witness to our faith in you throughout our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. As we face our Lord Jesus Christ in the sacrament of His body and blood, let us entrust to Him our fears, our trials, our worries, so that like Him, we may be confident that we are children of the Father and that our good Father will never abandon us. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you always in peace of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh, oh.